Hi guys, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students and guess what? Today is day 9 in our 30 day challenge. As I promised you, I have been uploading one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So I'm challenging myself and uploading these lessons. Let me ask you guys to challenge yourselves as much as you can and study them and follow these lessons and if you have any questions, of course, always, as usual, leave them in the comment box below and I will answer them as soon as I can. So, I was just in the, in the shops, I was on my way from work and I thought, let me stop and buy a few things because the fridge is completely empty. So, I have here my shopping bag and we will talk about what's inside this bag, okay? Let's begin. Awashi. Awal shi means first of all. Awal shi hayda kis nylon. Kis nylon. Kis is a bag, but it's nylon, like it's plastic bag. So we don't say kis for a backpack, for example, or any other handbag. No, that's not kis. That's shanta. But when a bag is made of plastic, that's when we call it kis. Okay. So hayda kis. I can also say hayda kis nylon. Fio grad. Fio means in it, which means it has. And I want to say I bought a few things. Shtereit kem gharad. Shtereit, I bought. Shtereit kem gharad. Kem means a few and gharad means thing. It doesn't mean things because in Arabic we don't say I bought a few things. We say I bought a few thing. So shtereit kem gharad. And the plural of gharad, oh, the light of the camera is so strong. Let me turn it off and come back. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so I was saying, in Arabic, we don't buy a few things, we buy a few things. That's why we say, shtareit kem gharad. And the plural of the word gharad is gharad, gharad. So, if you want to say, I bought many things, in that case, we do say many things. We don't say many things. So, for example, اليوم اشتريت كم غرض? A few things. اليوم اشتريت كم غرض? But let's say I bought so many things, I would have said اليوم اشتريت كتير غرض. كتير غرض. I don't say كتير غرض, but I do say كم غرض. Okay? خلينا نشوف شو في بالكيس. خلينا means let's. خلينا نشوف. Let's see. خلينا نشوف شو في بالكيس. I could have also say, said Hitler Shuf. Hitler Shuf Shufi Bilkis. Hitler Shuf is more like a friendly or an informal way of saying let's see. Khalina literally means let us. Khalli means let. It's the imperative form of let. Let me, let you. Khalina, the na in the end makes it let us. Khalina Shuf, let us see. Or hate lanshuf. What's this hate story? So hate in Arabic is a way of saying give me, give me, hate. If you have something in your hand and I want to see it or I want to tell you just give it to me, it's not yours, it's mine for example, I say hate. But when I say hate lanshuf, I'm literally saying give me to see. La means to and nshuf means see. Give me to see. Of course, this doesn't make sense in English, no? But in Arabic, it does because when you say hit lanshuf, means let's see, hit lanshuf. We can use it in any other context as well, as well whenever you want to say let's do something. Hit lanshuf, hit lanruh, let's go, okay? So, hit lanshuf shufi bilkis. أو هتلا نشوف شو في بهالكيس in this bag so بالكيس in the bag and بهالكيس ب in هل means this كيس bag بهالكيس okay and the هل is the abbreviation of هيدا which is this plus ال the in Arabic we say this the we don't say this for example we say this the bag we don't say this bag. Again, it doesn't make sense in English, but in Arabic it does. So, Let's see what's in the bag. It's the abbreviation of in this bag. First of all, 
بصل اخضر بصل اخضر اخضر يعني green and بصل means onion so بصل اخضر we say in Arabic uh, I think in English you call them spring onions but in Arabic we say بصل اخضر so هيدا بصل اخضر or اشتريت بصل اخضر اشتريت اشياء صحية I bought healthy stuff اشتريت I bought اشياء things صحية healthy I said صحية because إشياء is in the plural so I have to use a feminine adjective I don't say إشياء صحية no I say إشياء صحية اشتريت إشياء صحية بس اشتريت كمان شوكولا I already ate them on the way home I ate two of these اشتريت شوكولا اثنين و... وهيدا خبز هيدا this is خبز خبز أسمر brown bread هيدا خبز أسمر when it comes to like leaves or salads I can just say وهيدي سالاد هيدي سالاد or if I want to say vegetables I can say um, خضرة خضرة means vegetables خضرة or سالاد وهيدا حبق هيدا حبق basil حبق it smells really nice ريحته كتير حلوة ريحته كتير حلوة ريحة in Arabic means smell Okay, riha. It has a t marbuta in the end. When I pronounce the word on your own, on its own, sorry, riha, um, it, it, it we don't pronounce the t marbuta. We just say riha. We don't. We never say rihat. Okay, but whenever I want to attach a possessive ending to it, in this case, the o sound, which is its, its smell, rihto, I have to pronounce the t marbuta. I cannot say riha. Oh no. I have to pronounce the tema arbuta, the T sound, and say rihto, its smell. Rihto, ktir helwe, its smell is very beautiful. Rihto, ktir helwe. Oh, heida kis salad tene, and this is another salad bag. Heida kis, this is a bag. Heida kis salad tene, this is another salad bag. Heide jibne baida. Heidi, this in the feminine form, okay? So you see here I said Heida kis, this is a bag. Heida is masculine because kis is masculine. In this case, I am saying Heide jibne because jibne is feminine. So Heide jibne baida. Heide jibne baida. Oh, Heida kis banadura. And this is a tomato bag. Heida kis banadura. And I can say banadura zghar, small uh, tomatoes, banadura zghar, okay? So, heida kis banadura. Heidi kartune, I can say, because it's not a bottle. If it was a bottle, I would have said heide annine. Annine is a bottle. But heide kartune, it's a carton, kartune, it comes from the non-Arabic word kartune, okay? So heide kartune, if it's just, I'm just saying this is a carton, I'm not sure I'm saying the right word in English. But if I want to say it's a it's a kartune of juice, in that case I don't say heide kartune asir, no, no, because there's a temarbuta, right? When this tamar buta is followed by another noun, in this case asir, which means juice, I have to pronounce the tamar buta in this case, and I have to say heide kartunet asir, okay? Heide kartunet asir. But you know what? Even if it's kartune, I would usually say annine, even if it doesn't look like a bottle. So heide anninet asir, ananas, ananas, pineapple. So heide anninet. Uh, عصير أناناس Okay شو بعد في What else there is شو What بعد Still في There is شو بعد في في بعد شوكولا كمان Okay أنا كتير بحب الشوكولا كتير كتير بحب الشوكولا وهيدي مشكلتي This is my problem هيدي This مشكلتي مشكلة is a problem مشكلتي T is my problem. Again, it's one of these words that finishes with the T marbuta. On its own, you just say mishkle. But when you add a possessive ending to it, you have to pronounce the T marbuta. Mishkilte. 
And I said, this is my problem. هيدي مشكلتي. باكل كتير شوكولا وحلويات and desserts and sweets. باكل كتير شوكولا وحلويات. وهيدولي I would just say avocado. Avocado. في اثنين افوكادو بالكيس. There are two avocados in the bag. في there is اثنين افوكادو two avocados بالكيس. في اثنين افوكادو بالكيس. وهيدي انينة حليب. هيدي this in the feminine form because انينة is a feminine word. هيدي انينة حليب. Um, حليب Uh, skimmed milk, I will say it's not camel at dasam. Camel at dasam means full milk. Camel means full. Okay? But in this case, I'm saying it's not really. Usually they call it khale min at dasam. Khale means empty of. Khale min at dasam. Empty of uh, fat. Okay? But this one is reduced fat. Okay? So it's either camel at dasam, full fat. Um, uh, empty of fat. Or you can say alil al dasam. Alil al dasam means little fat, which means reduced fat. Alil, little, al dasam, the fat. That's how you're saying it. Little, the fat, which means reduced fat. Alil al dasam. Okay. Ufi, laymune, laymune wahde. Okay, laymune wahde. One. I can only say laymune if I want to because in Arabic when I'm counting something that is just one, I don't have to say one because when I just mention the thing, I already know it's one. So هيدي laymune, I can also say laymune wahde, just one lemon. And together we will say laymuntain. Why do we say laymuntain? Because in English you would say two lemons, right? In Arabic it doesn't work that way. In Arabic we have the in ending which we add to the word to make it dual double only when it's double so in this case look laymune is a word that finishes with a temarbuta i don't say laymunit when it's on its own no no i just say laymune but the temarbuta is there i just don't pronounce it laymune the moment i come to add the in ending to it to make it dual because i have here too i don't say laymunain no i have to pronounce the tamar buta okay and that's why i say laymuntain haydol these are it's the plural form of this so we said for example hayda kis this is a bag in the masculine form hayde annine this is a bottle in the feminine form and haydol laymuntain Hey, dol, these are. Hey, dol, lemon, ten. These are two lemons. Um, oh, hey, de, albit, jij. Hey, de, this, albit, a box of jij. Again, the word albit on its own, it has a temarbuta. You don't pronounce it. When I say albit, box, I don't pronounce it. But in this case, I said albit jij. I pronounced the T sound or the T marbuta. Why? Because albit is a noun and jij is a noun. And whenever you have noun followed by a noun, noun plus noun, you have to pronounce the T marbuta. Okay? So heide albit jij. We don't say heide albit jij. No. Heide albit jij. This is a box of chicken. O heide jibne kamen. This is also cheese. Oh, hey, the jibne kamen. I love jibne the feta. I like feta cheese. I love jibne the feta. You see? Initially, I said hey, the jibne. I didn't pronounce the tamar buta, but now that I'm saying jibne feta, I am pronouncing the tamar buta. Why? Because jibne is a noun, and feta is a noun. Noun plus noun. What happens? We pronounce the tamar buta. Okay. So, oh, hey, the jibne feta. I love. I love or I like. أنا بحب جبنة الفتة. I will say هيدا ginger because we do say هيدا زنجبيل. زنجبيل is the word for ginger. زنجبيل. But I don't usually use it. I just say هيدا ginger. I use the English word. هيدا ginger. وأخيرا finally 
وهيدا دجاج this is also chicken هيدا دجاج كمان بس هيدا but this هيدا دجاج مطبوخ cooked هيدا دجاج مطبوخ بس but هيدا دجاج ني this is raw chicken so again هيدا دجاج مطبوخ this is cooked chicken وهيدا دجاج ني وخلص and that's it ما بقى في شي بالكيس ما بقى which means not anymore ما بقى في شي there's no more في شي there's, there's something بالكيس let's break this down so she means thing في شي means there is something ما في شي there is nothing ما بقى في شي ما بقى it's, it's a way to say anymore there is nothing anymore ما بقى and sometimes we pronounce it ما بقى ما بقى not anymore ما بقى في شي بالكيس so خلينا نحطهم بالبراد خلينا let's نحطهم نحط is we put we put نحطهم because it's more than one thing خلينا نحطهم بالبراد um, as I told you مثل ما قلت لكم مثل ما قلت لكم as I told you البراد فاضي the, the fridge is empty البراد فاضي كليا كليا means completely البراد فاضي كليا so يلا رح حط الغراض I will put the stuff رح حط رح I will رح حط الغراض بالبراد و... وبس and that's it هيدا كل شي لليوم هيدا كل شي لليوم that's it for today وبشوفكم بكرة and before I go actually I would say I hope you enjoyed it because I am enjoying doing this with you guys and if you find my lessons useful please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram I upload lessons there too and every time we do lessons on youtube and i put lessons on youtube i go to facebook and on to instagram and i upload lists there as well so you can go there take a snapshot of the lists one more thing guys before you go i just wanted to remind you that today i'm putting all the words that we did and all the sentences that we did under this video so don't worry if I didn't put them in the subtitle. You could still see them. All you need to do is watch the video and scroll the list down. You could still see and hear them at the same time. And maybe you can even print them out. I will put them on Facebook and on Instagram, as I said. So you could print the list out and check it out while looking at it or even take a snapshot and look at it, okay? I'm doing this just to be able to keep up with, um, with the lessons that we're doing for a period of 30 days. If I want to transcribe and put the subtitles for every single video, it takes ages and it, I wouldn't be able to keep up with, the, with this speed, okay? That's why I'm still giving you the list, but separately, okay? That's it for today. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye.